Today we'll be testing the Mauser Max 12 uh, stalking rifle. Uh, it's a very, very nice hunting rifle, uh, thumb hole stock as you can see. Um, it has an overall length of 42 inches and uh, weighs eight pounds, so it's very handy. Um, I particularly like the fact that you've got this thumb hole stock design, which I particularly favor. It's very ambidextrous, it's right and left handed, uh, which is again very practical for all orientations of types of shooters. It has a twin palm swell. You have the obligatory now adjustable cheek piece if you sh should use it. It's made of beech wood. And I actually like the design of it. It's not like a normal just slab sided um, laminate stocks you can get on some rifles. This has a bit of grain, a bit of interest. It actually looks very, very nice. And it actually handles very well as, as well. Uh, the barrel is, is a typical Mauser. It's cold hammer forged uh, in standard calibers as this is on test is 308, it's 22 inches and have a seven, has a 17 mil um, diameter and is threaded for 15 by one. So you can put a sound moderator as we have here. So, um, um, Blaser, the Blaser group has supplied a Blaser uh, sound moderator. Um, action is your Mauser, typical Mauser, six lug bolt operated system for a low bolt lift. Uh, it actually locks directly into the back of the barrel, so very, very secure. This model comes with a cock decock safety, a wing type actually on the back of the bolt shroud. Again, very, very nice. I actually, not, I'm not that keen on wing, wing safety, it's got to be honest with you, but this is particularly nice because once you cock the rifle, you can decock or put onto safe and that actually decocks the whole system. Push forward, you feel a bit of pressure and that's now cocking uh, the firing pin mechanism. So very, very safe, very, very good handling and interesting rifle. Um, but we're going to take her out and shoot factory, reloads, and then stalk some deer up here in the Argyle in Scotland. All right, we're testing the uh, the new Mauser Max 12 uh, today with a nice uh, thumb hole laminate stock. We're going to start off the factory loads with some uh, Remington 150 grain. Let's see how they shoot uh, 100 yards. And we'll collect uh, data for the um, targets and velocity. Very smooth action. Two six five eight. Ooh. Two six four four. Two six four four. That's uh, yeah, it's under an inch at a hundred yards. That's not too bad for the old Remington. Uh, we'll see what happens now with the rest of the factory. Right, next, we're, next we're going to try some uh, Norma Eco Strike. Uh, see how they compare. So it's uh, easy to load this Mauser. It's got a double stack uh, or double feed ramp system. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, they're much more pokey, those are. That's two, eight, six, four. Normal, I always uh, load them quite stout in the old 308, which is good. Two, eight. Oh, I went through the same hole the first bullet. Again, it's about an inch, which isn't too bad for those EK strikes. And that last bullet did uh, 2758. Now we're going to go a little bit lighter. These uh, Hornaday Custom 125 grain SSTs are quite good for small species deer. We're doing some rodeo culling up here in Scotland, so we'll see how those shoot now. Hopefully, a bit quieter. <laughs> Got 
too bad. Velo recoil. Two two zero two two zero seven. Oh, lovely, all shots touching at 100 yards. A bit of vertical string, but that's uh, very nice to shoot. Uh, good accuracy, mild recoil, and low velocity, as you expected. All right, next one of my favorites is the uh, 150 grain horn of the SSTs. These are always very, very accurate and uh, give uh, good high velocity. So we'll see in this Mauser how they shoot. Here we go. So that bolt is very slick, I mean there's no hesitation at all when you load that. Two nine oh nine. That is fast for a 150 gram bullet, that's very very fast. Two eight five, two eight five six. Okay, it's gone down. Last shot. Two eight five. Yeah, that's about an inch group. I was expecting a bit better, actually, but that's not bad. I'm wobbling a little bit. Let's be honest with you. But uh, no, nice good round there. All right, second to last, we've got some Seiko Hammerhead 150 grain. Uh, these always prove quite good for uh, fallow and red. So let's see how accurate they are in the, uh, the Max 12. Ooh, 2666. I hope that's not an omen. <laughs> Two six six six, I'm not sure that she read it over the chrono. Let's try again. One big hole. Oh my God, that's really good. What's that? Two five. Sorry, two five eight three. Yeah, those those Seiko Ammunition Factory really really good rounds. Uh, yeah, very nice. And then fin finally, with the um, the factory loads, we're going to use the Winchester Subsonic and a 185 grain um, uh, X bullet. And they are very very interesting. I think you can see that. But very interesting. Uh, bullet design, we'll go through that a bit later on and hopefully with it, there should be a significant drop in sound when we shoot these. Oh, it's a little bit of a crack. Yeah, just over, look, that's one, 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 two, oh, so that's just a little bit over the speed of sound, which is a shame, so look. One one oh four. I hope we're just on the cusp of supersonic subsonic, and that's from the point of aim with those uh, Seiko at 100 yards. We are dropping four and a half inches. Very easy to load. Two 
safety on, push it. That's basically decocker, and that's, de that's recocked it again. So you, you're live, you're now safe. That can be a live round could be uh, ejected if you want to. You can actually cycle a new one, but pull trigger. There's nothing there because you've actually decocked the system. Push the safety off, which is forward. You're now live. That's now cocked the firing pin and the spring, and you can fire. So a very safe system. It's, it's a little bit stiff, but I'd rather have it that way because it's very, very safe. You know whether it's on or off. You can also load rounds through the top and not take the magazine out at all, which is quite handy. So add an extra round, cycle. And you're ready to shoot again. Well, we've tested the uh, factory now with the Mauser Max 12, and I thought I'd select um, three of the best reloads, and uh, here they are. So, first up, we had the good old uh, classic um, Nosler 125 grain ballistic tips. I always like these bullets, they're very, very good. Uh, this was actually shot in a 10 to 50 mile an hour wind in Scotland, uh, but still producing very nice, solid, consistent groups. Because um, it's a reasonably light bullet, I like to use Reloaded 10X and it's got a 22 inch barrel as well, so the faster powder definitely helps with ballistics here. 42 grains of that powder worked really well. We had 2,987 feet per second and uh, 2,476 foot pound energy. Uh, overall length of the bullet was 2.654 of an inch and it's so, as you can see, worked very consistently. Another good old bullet is the uh, Sierra Game King, uh, 150 grain, which is a typical weight for a 308 um, cartridge. Very nice, consistent old bullets. Sierra, you know, people say Sierras are old bullets, um, but these they shoot so well and just will work in many guns, especially in this Mauser Max 12. Uh, we had Rio 15, again a fantastic powder for a 308 cartridge. 46.5 grains of this powder gave velocity of 2,772 feet per second, which equates to 2,559 foot pound. Good all round cartridge, very good for reds up in Scotland. Uh, and then the best of the um, reloads for the lead free were the Barnes 110 grain bullets. I, I really like these. Some people say the 110 are quite light, but they penetrate very well and then dump all the energy with inside the, uh, the uh, beast for a very humane quick kill. Very, very good bullets. Uh, we had an overall length here of 2.764 uh, of an inch. Uh, just below maximum and again being a light bullet i used a faster powder this time vit n133 this achieved a very good velocity of 3025 feet per second and that equates to 2235 foot pound energy and again yeah less than well inch or less thereabouts um which is not bad for a lead free bullet so there you are that's that's some of the reloads and overall impressed with the max 12 performance out in the field well, that's a nice conclusion to a stalk this morning with the new Mauser M12 uh, Max Rifle in 308. Uh, we spotted a road doe here up in Argyle, Scotland, across the backfield here. We stalked up through the forestry and uh, off sticks. It's about 141 yards, I think, on the range, laser range finder. And um, she went straight down with Hornaday SST 150. So, um, yeah, I mean, the first deer I've shot with uh, the Max 12, and I'm, I'm very pleased with it.